Hi, I'm Chad. In the fall of 2020, I bought this boat, a Columbia 107 called Semantis, for $750. We motored her south to her new home at Chipman Point Marina on Lake Champlain. She is now undergoing a complete refit in preparation to begin sailing the world. Good morning guys. It's May 1st today. So last week I recovered the core with the fiberglass material for the McGregor 21 keel. And I got it most of the way there and I ran out of uh, fiberglass body filler again. So the short fiber stuff is what I've been using on this project. What happened this week is I might got another gallon. I was thinking I might need a quart, maybe a little more. Two at the, you know, two quarts at the most. Well, surprisingly, I ended up using almost another gallon. So that's three gallons on this project. It really, really sucked up the body filler. So anyway, I want to give you a look at the keel where it is right now. It's all cleaned up, and it's fiberglass week. All right, guys, here's the keel. Let's take a look at it. You saw it last week, these sides. I hadn't done these side profiles yet. I think I've got the template here. Yeah, here's the template. So I'd split the template in half. And what I had done is I lay it over the keel like this, load this up with some body filler, and drag it along. That gave me the rough profile. I put this little bit of a camber in here. because This, this is a, an airfoil or, or a hydrofoil in this case. So it's pretty important that you maintain that shape all the way around. If one of these uh, cambered sides was different than the other side, the boat would have a tendency to pull one direction a little bit because the water would be flowing over one side faster, the shorter side, than the longer side. So it's pretty important to get this as close as you reasonably can. So that's what we've done here. And I just wanted to show you, this is our leading edge right here. Nice round radius. And this is heavy, but I'm going to flip it up and I'm going to show you the other side. I think I am. Let me have you stand up here. It weighs like 400 pounds. So I don't know if you can see this. This end's sharper. This is the trailing edge. So that's the shape of the keel. It's all cleaned up. And it's ready to go. There's still a couple small, small holes in here. But the epoxy will fill those just fine. So you see behind me, I'm not wearing gloves. I'm sorry, I should be. When you're doing this stuff, you should wear gloves because the oil in your hands doesn't do the glass any good. Unfortunately, all my gloves and materials and stuff that I have for fiberglass are over in Semantis in the boat. So for today, we're just going to have to deal with it without the gloves. So I've cut the fiber glass here. It's 1708 bi-directional cloth. Here's a little scrap. Let me bring this up closer so you can see it. So this is the uh, chop strand matting side. This is just loose fibers. And it's stitched onto the back. There's, I mean, you can see it, but there's straight line stitching along here. And that's stitching it to the back of this stuff, which is uh, 17 ounce bi-directional cloth. Anyway, that's 1708 and this is what we're going to be covering this boat with. I've told you before that I have some experience in the past working with experimental aircraft. Uh, I've got two Mark I Viking Dragonflies. The way to do a wing, or in this case hydrofoil is kind of the same thing, um, is you lap one side over the edge. So the glass, I'm going to wet this out, I'm going to lay the fabric down, and then I'm going to, this is actually going to wrap around the leading edge, and it's also going to wrap around the trailing edge, and over the bottom, all the way around. I'm going to get it all wet out, stuck down, and then I'm going to add some more resin to the top, until I totally wet out the fabric, 
and I'll squeegee it out until the consistency is right and it's not too wet, it's not too dry, just properly wet out cloth. So wet out, let it set up, probably four or five hours. Um, it's probably going to be tomorrow, Sunday, by the time I get into it. And then I'll flip this thing over, I'll sand this edge, and I'll sand this edge a little bit, and then I will apply the second layer of cloth on the other side. So basically what we're going to end up with is a single layer of 1708 on both sides, but it'll be double up on the leading edge and the trailing edge. And I think that'll do the job pretty nicely. Uh, the airplane, that was the same layup for the wing on an airplane or the control surfaces. Wrap it around and wrap it back. And you'll end up with an edge that's underneath. So you have a little bump and you'll have an exposed edge on the opposite side. And then you just simply ferret out and clean it up to smooth it back out again. I need to get a rag and wipe this clean with acetone. And then I'm going to do my best to keep everything as clean as I can. And you can watch uh, as I lay out this glass. Okay, I hope you enjoy it.
It's Friday the 7th. I'm still working on the same project I was last week, the McGregor 21 boat keel. Right now, I'm going to show you in just a second. I've got one side all glassed and ready to go. Now I'm going to flip the keel over and I'm going to glass the other side today. And I'm going to let it cure overnight. And then I really hope to get into some fairing tomorrow. I made a trip up to Burlington, Vermont. It's an hour north of here today to grab fairing compound. It's going to be the West Systems 407 that I chose to use. So that's what we're getting into. A little more filming, a little more fiberglass today. You may notice the early part of this video, I didn't have a roller. Um, I had a, my roller frame here, but I didn't have any roller covers. So today I've, I've taken care of that. And I didn't have gloves last week either. So I've taken care of that problem as well. I picked up some gloves this morning. So here's the keel. It's glassed. I'm not sure if you can see it. I've already sanded this edge. The leading edge along the bottom and trailing edge, that's all sanded. You can see how I wrapped around these aluminum plates up top here. Um, they're all sealed in, epoxied in place. I think that's going to prevent them from uh, having any issues with water getting into them. And now I'm going to flip this keel over. And uh, we're going to add the fabric to this side. So I'll start by giving it a real good sanding. I'll wipe it down with acetone. And then I'll put my gloves on. And then we'll get into the process of laying out this glass.
Well, guys, I just wanted you to get a good look at uh, the keel. This is the other side. It's all glass. I've got it tucked in with some scraps from the original keel uh, epoxy and fiberglass body filler layup. And there's a little bit of plastic in between the two underneath the edge. Just helps to keep prevent it from sticking. And once it sets up a little bit more, it's getting there. It's starting to kick right now. Once it sets up a little bit more, I will pull those off and roll the edges in one last time. And that should be good. That should uh, take care of this part of the project. And then next, we're going to move on to fairing. All right. So I want to share this with you before I stop for the night. 407 low density filler from West Systems. There's also a 410. 407 uh, I think is a little bit harder to sand uh, just a little bit than the 410. So this is going into an application where I want it to be able to take some lumps and bumps. You know you might hit bottom from time that kind of thing. So the 410 is a little softer. I think this is the way to go. And uh, and then we've got uh, gel coat to finish things up. So now there's actually a couple of different ways to do this. Um, what you can do is you can put the gel coat first, and that'll it's thick. So if you use gel coat first, clean this up, sand it gel coat it's, it's thick it'll fill some of those smaller holes um, when you go to shape so some people will gel coat and then sand block it all out and then step over into the filler to be able to finish the the, the shape the profile and then paint so there's, there's a couple of ways to do it um, this is uh, 1972, this boat. It's all gel coat on the bottom, and I'm going to match what it was. I'm going to try to bring it back to the way, the way it was to, be, to start with. So I'm going to do it the other way. I'm going to fair it out first with this, get the shape, and then I'm going to finish it with the gel coat. So hopefully, this is last week's video that I'm finishing up now. Hopefully tomorrow, we're going to start with this stuff. And weather permitting... I think we're supposed to get some rain Sunday, but if we if we had the weather for it and I feel like the glass is cured enough, I might even go so far as to think about getting into gel coat this weekend so we can put this keel back in the boat. I want to thank those that have subscribed to my channel or like, share, and comment on my videos. If you're new to my channel, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. It helps me to gain traction here on YouTube.